uh, hi everyone in this video we'll talk about how we can calculate the value of pi uh, using a monte carlo uh, simulation approach uh, just a brief uh, idea uh, so to calculate the value of pi uh, what we'll do is we'll calculate the area of a circle and uh, we will calculate the area without using a traditional formula which is pi r square uh, instead we will use simulation to calculate the area so once we have the area then we can use the formula to calculate the value of pi and uh, to do that uh, to calculate the area of the circle uh, we will uh, enclose this uh, circle uh, into a square so let me draw it so we will draw a square around the circle like this and uh, if we have this square uh, then we know the area of the square and then we will use the Monte Carlo to calculate the fraction of the area of the circle and from that we will be able to calculate the area of the circle and later we will be able to calculate the value of pi so even if this is not very clear to you uh, uh, let's go to the simulations and once we do the simulation step by step everything will become more clear so let's uh, start so for this simulation first we need to learn about the random numbers so in excel we can do the random numbers by using is equal to r a and d and then parenthesis it give me a random number between 0 and 1 uh, i can copy the same formula here and call this as x axis and this as y axis right so what i did here is i have a number i plotted I generate a coordinate of a number which can be anywhere on x and y axis so this is uh, ranges from uh, this is the x coordinate and this is the y coordinate so I can generate many points like this if I drag the same formula again and again below so let me generate uh, around uh, uh, so I say 1 2 and uh, let me generate uh, around uh, 1000 points so I'll go here and, uh, and you can see these are 1000 points here so you can see this is a 1000 here and these are all the random numbers so if I if I use this all the random numbers and I make a plot of it so I say insert so what will I get? Will I get the points which are randomly placed between 0 and 1 both on x axis and y axis and if we place them randomly then ultimately we will fill up the whole uh, range and if we fill up the whole range we will see a filled square and that square is what we wanted so now we can calculate the area of the square we know the area of the square should be equal to uh, side into side and that will be 1 so here the area of the square is 1 right so we generated the square now uh, how will I move this square uh, the center of the square to 0 uh, I want to do that to make my calculation simpler so to do this I'll change the random number range from 0 to 1 to minus 1 to 1 so I don't want them to go from 0 to 1 I want them to go from minus 1 to 1 so in that case what will I do I'll change the formula to 2 into random number if I do this my random rum number range will change from 0 to 2 right and if I subtract this from 1 then the random number range will change from minus 1 to 1 so I am doing this I copy the same formula here and I drag the cursor to the end of the cell and I double click on it so everything got changed and now you can see that the square has changed from minus 1 to 1 both on x axis and y axis so now what's the area of square that is equal to 2 because now you can see the side is minus 1 to 1 so the total side is 2 so 2 into 2 is 4 so this is the area of the square number of points in square is equal to 1000 
so that's equal to 1000 so that we know so this is clear now we have to generate a circle and how do we generate a circle uh, we know the equation of the circle is x square plus y square is equal to 1 right so each coordinate uh, has a particular distance from the center so uh, let me say what's a distance so distance from the center so this will be the distance from the center and uh, suppose the distance from the center that will be given by x square plus y square so this is so you can see that this uh, point is 1.185 uh, units away from the center and if I double click on this then I'll get the range for all the points now how will I generate a circle so a circle will be defined as any point which is less than 1 from the center why because to enclose that circle inside the square the radius has to be 1 because it starts from 0 so in that case I'll write a command here is equal to if distance this is the distance right is less than 1 then select x otherwise don't select x but just put a 0 so this is a simple command if even if you when you try to type this command it also give you the uh, values you need to add so you can so it says if d5 is less than 1 d5 is uh, the distance from the center is less than 1 then use x axis otherwise put 0 so this is number and again I can write again if distance from the center is less than 1 then use y axis y 0 so this is again another thing so we can call this again as x and y and uh, we can call them as so let me add some space here so we can call them as circle and this is this was square right so if I select both this point and double click on it then I get the all the coordinates for the circle so let me plot that so I'll say insert and scatter plot I don't know where those chart is it's not here let me do it again yeah so here is the chart and if I drag it down so you can see we generated a circle and I think it's it's amazing that you can use simulation to generate this kind of shapes and uh, it was really uh, interesting when I first uh, did that in Excel when I was in high school um, so let's uh, see if I plot the same circle on the square then what it looks like so let me uh, delete this and use this graph and say select data and add uh, x axis and it goes till 1008 then this one goes to 1008 so now you can see that this circle is actually inside that square so everything seems to work fine right so let me delete this so this is what we simulated so now we we have simulated a circle and a square and the circle is inside the square so how will i get the fraction of area of the circle and to get that again I need to let me put that in the side and uh, what I need to do is I need to write a condition here and that condition is 
equal to if distance from the center is less than 1 then 1 otherwise 0 so what we'll do is whenever there is a point inside the uh, circle then it will count as 1 and if it not it will count it as 0 so let me double click on it so now you can see that here when the distance was 1.14 it counted as 0 uh, again when the distance was 1.09 it calculated as 0 all, in all the other cases it counted it as 1 so whenever there is a point inside the circle it will count it right so now I will say uh, but how many number of point number of points in circle that will be equal to sum of these right so I'll say sum and I go until goes until 107 so I'll say 107 so it gives 792 so the total number of points in circle is 792 so fraction area fraction area fraction of circle is equal to 1000 divided by no 786 divided by 1000 so that's the fraction of area of the circle so now you can see that whenever I double click on a change all the simulation uh, is been redone by Excel and therefore the number changes and it changes again and again and why this number is different each time is because we do not have enough data points we used only 1000 data points and in simulation it's very important that more data points you use the more accuracy it is so instead of using 1000 points if you use 10,000 points then the accuracy will be much higher and the value of the pi will be more accurate right so now what I'll do I'll say uh, to calculate the area of the circle so insert insert so area of circle is equal to that's equal to pi r square so we say pi and what is r square r square r is uh, 1 here so that will be equal to uh, pi So the area of the circle is pi because r is 1 because r is equal to 1 right now uh, we know the a the fraction of the circle and we know the area of the circle and we know the area of the square so if we do all the calculation uh, value of pi will be equal to area fraction divided by 4 sorry that will be equal to area fraction multiplied by 4 sorry about that confusion so in that case uh, it will be 3 3.22 so now you can see that it is not very close to 3.14 but if you do the simulation again and again it give us a number which is close to 3.44 and this is the value of pi and uh, to get more accuracy we need to do more data points so if I go here and uh, uh, let me do this and I take all these points and uh, I drag them again until 10,000 points then you will see that the accuracy will be much 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 higher. So let me see let's let's say six eight seven nine so six eight seven nine so we have six eight seven zero because nine points are here and then the sum so 
so now you can see that if I have more data points then the value of the pi is more accurate so now the fluctuations are less and we are very close to the value of pi so I hope this video helps and I'll see you again in next video thank you